Divine Feminine. What it do? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again to let you know what is the Divine Fine Ass Feminine Daily Bread Messages. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. For today, March the 18th and tomorrow the 19th. So we're going to get some nourishment from God. We're going to figure out what we have to na navigate today, okay? So... Shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you um, so much to everyone who's booked a personal reading. Love, 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 love all of you guys. We've been having some amazing, amazing, amazing conversations. And I hope everything that you have written down on your manifestation list after the reading is up, I hope that you guys like really posted that up on your wall by your bed and that you look at it every day and you're doing what I've been saying and you know we're manifesting greatness and we're using our power we all have our own power we all have our intuition and we can make magic happen it's all within you so if you guys got your manifestation books your manifestation looks we're going to manifest greatness and we're going to start it from today the 18th so if anyone wants to book a personal private reading you can do so by clicking that um, about tab there's a hyperlink at the bottom that says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again at scorpion reds tarot at simply book me if this video resonates and if you would like to book a personal private reading you can do so by clicking um that hyperlink for the paypal in the description okay let's get into the energy for today father god thank you so much for bringing us here thank you so much for giving us our daily nourishment i promise you we truly look forward to these messages um navigating the week thank you so much for us having um I get that. I don't know about nobody else weekend. I had a crazy weekend. I hope that y'all had a good weekend. So I'm going to say for you, everybody, because I'm praying y'all didn't have the weekend I had. So I'm just praying and I'm hoping that everyone had a blessed weekend and that everyone is continuing to be elevated and, you know, operating of their highest of all high energy and just, you know, trying to attract love and prosperity through love and treating their self pros prosperous and feeding their self good nourishment every day. And Father, we're asking for additional nourishment throughout the day. Please give the Divine Feminine guidance for the 18th and the 19th of March, Monday and Tuesday. And thank you so much for all of your divine light and guidance and uh, strength that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give the Divine Feminine daily bread for the 18th and the 19th of March. Thank you so much. So, y'all know I switched my cards up. So, this is the Good Tarot deck. This is one of my training decks. So, y'all will see writing on here, okay? Okay. Yeah, this is one of the first decks that I got. And I love it because, well, it's kind of difficult to shuffle with because these cards are so thick. But I love, you know... I love colorful decks. I love color, 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 color. So. All right, one more shuffle. Okay, I didn't like that. So let's do one more. <clears throat> one more shuffle. Five o'clock, please give us guidance for the Divine Feminine Daily Bread. March 18th and 19th. So much. It's the five of fire. The emperor in reverse. Mm. A lot of fire popping off. Let's give it divine feminine guidance and love. Alright. Commitment. Purge, whoa! All right, commitment. Somebody got commission, commitment issue. Somebody that you, I know today for sure, somebody that you went out of a conflict with, because this person has commitment issues, and you just like, look, what's the point of me keep going through all of this arguing, just like child? No. Mm mm. What does it say? Forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. Okay. 
So whatever, I feel like honestly, listen, look, I'm already doing the reading and I ain't even start the reading. What does it say? Investigate, look closely, ask questions before acting. Come on, listen, listen, come on. Don't, girl, oh, I'm already seeing where this going. Oh, tomorrow you're going to set it off on somebody. Whoever this emperor in reverse is, you setting it off with that purge and that investigate girl. Oh, wait. You like you bitch ass nigga. You ain't shit. You ain't you ain't as strong as you trying to make yourself out to be. Like for real, for real. Like what's tea? What's tea? What is this? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh. Girl. And the real of fortune in reverse. You girl. Girl. Y'all are really coming to some revelation yawns. Okay? Listen, y'all. This is. The Rebel deck. So I am using my new cards here, okay? So those bonus reads, y'all will see these cards in your bonus readings if your sign has been uh, selected for the top view. So, yeah. And what does this say? Stop fucking whining. I don't know who this is for, but stop fucking whining. What does it say? No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have strength to change your world. So do it. Come on. I don't know who that was for. Okay. But we're going to keep it moving. And see what else they really got to say. Come on. Look, I said, let me get some cards that cuss just as much as I do. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Look, God got a sense of humor. God know my heart. He know I cuss him. Okay. Okay. I'm like, Red, I know you're crazy ass. You better not be cussing. What it say? You do you. Come on now. You do you, girl. It says shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Oh, oop, 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 oop. I'm reloading. I am reloading. Okay. Grab the strap, nigga. I'm reloaded. Grab the strap. Oh, what did it say? Shame, regret, and build those. Girl, y'all is going off on this emperor. Oh, I can't. Okay, let's get into this. Come on, I'm taking too long to shuffle. I got to see what he is, entrepreneur. And what do you desire? Girl, come on. Father, you coming through today. You is coming through today because you, you came to slap. You did not come to play today, Father God. Come on, Father God. Father, ah! talking about you do you. Who you going to be telling you do you? You do you, boo. You got commitment issues? You look, what? Do you, boo? Mm-mm. Come on now. Let's find out what's going on with this life purpose and guidance. All right? In regards to this career and your life purpose, you are on the right path. Come on, Father. And nutrition. Look, look, look. Okay, come on, let's get into this because you know what? Uh-uh, hold on. Hold on. Because I need to figure out what's popping. Okay? Uh oh, child. I done spilled the sage. I done spilled, I done spilled it over. Lord. Why am I always spilling this over in my videos, y'all? What was the last video I done spilled all of the damn sage over? Anyway, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm about, okay, I'm about, okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no, y'all. Not coughing like that. Okay, anyway, listen. So today, this is that five of wands. Y'all are like, look. Defire and desire. It's burning, all right. It's burning. And I'm tired of learning all of this drunk. Listen. I'm tired of having to take up arms and defend myself or having to fight and compete and battle for your love and your affection if you do not want to be committed to me you want me to sit out here and compete and fight and act a plum fucking idiot for your affection guess what you can forget it because I'm not fighting this battle no more I'm not competing for you I'm not competing for something that I rightly deserve okay we done been with each other for this long. If you're not interested to go on about your business, stop hanging on to me and wanting to come in and out and do whatever you want whenever you please. It don't work like that. 
And just for the fact that you think that you could play with me like that and that you could be all around, all around the town like Julie Brown, bitch, keep your ass down the motherfucking town. Be the fuck on down there. This says forget who you are. Conditioning falling away. Memory no longer defines you. Do you see this? So what I'm I'm getting from this, and we're, we're going to read the book because this is new, so I don't really know what it says. I'm just going off of my intuition. It says forget who you are. I feel like, I feel like this is someone who, at some point in time, you let the condition of the situation define who you are, define how you think, define how you carry yourself, define how you feel about yourself because of whatever the current conditions was and how this person was treating you. And you've decided to take your power back. You're like, you know what? I, I'm not what this situation is trying to define me to be. I am no longer being confined in this you know you're, these conditions are falling away that memory of who you were in this situation and no longer defines who you are like you are elevating above that because this is in the reverse let me see what this says let me see what this says for sure oh that's 41 what number is this yeah okay so let me read this okay it says, what do you call yourself, the fawn said at last. Such a soft, sweet voice it had. I wish I knew, thought poor Alice. She answered rather sadly, nothing just now. Think again, it said. That won't do, although Alice thought, but nothing came of it. Please, would you tell me what you would call yourself, she said timidly. I think that might help a little bit. I'll tell you, if you can come a little further on, the fawn said, I can't remember here. So they walked on together through the woods, Alice with her arms clasped lovingly around the soft neck fawn till they came out onto another open field. You are amidst a new experience, one in which you have no idea of who you are anymore. Paradoxically, this apparent loss of self is a beautiful gift. The loss of memory of the self, the absence of the conditioning that confines us, means we can approach new people in new situations with an innocence and a freshness. This is an opportunity to stay connected from the heart. So it is with Alice when she enters the looking glass force with magical powers. All who enter forget who they are, thus not knowing. He ought to be frightened of a human. A fawn approaches Alice. She responds in incredible fondness for the fawn, and they meet in simple affection and connection and friendship. They forget what we have been taught to fear or hate. It brings the opportunity for a whole new series of beautiful relationships to blossom. This is the situation you find yourself in now. Forget what you tell yourself you are. Forget what others have said you ought to be. Forget in, 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 <laughs> forget imminent avoidance and the fear that we, uh, lives in is oh my jesus okay forget the enmity i don't know what the fuck that means avoidance the fear we live in far too often forget who we have been taught to be instead reawaken the innocence of the soul unknow thyself accept the mysteries of you within that open space within that force where we are or returned to our ancient and most natural self. We can all be one again. The true message you are discovering. What can happen when you rely less on conditioning. Memory and civilization. And more on the heart. Receptivity and nature. New friendships. Connections. And gentleness. And gentleness. And joy will be yours. Now in the reverse. Which it was. This means. Believe in everything that you've been told you are, defining yourself through labels, 
cultural programming, rules and laws, missing out on the beautiful heart opening opportunities to connect due to conformity and rigid and rigid beliefs. Okay. So what it's trying to tell you, you guys, you were stuck in this belief at one time feeling like, you know, this is a commitment that was worth battling and was worth competing and worth fighting for. And now you have, you are starting to understand that that situation, I'm not going to let that situation define me for who I am because I've been stuck in this conditioning of feeling like I have to continue to fight for a position in this situation where there is no fucking commitment. Okay, so this is telling you to forget who you are. This situation does not define you and does not determine who you are going to be in the future. Forget this shit. You need to go back to who the fuck you were before this, when you were innocent. Okay, because you are innocent. It's not your fault that this person has commitment issues. Okay, your only fault is this to continue to battle and compete and fight for a situation that you're never winning. Don't tell yourself that this is who you are. Do not tell yourself that this is who you are. Because the Ten of Pentacles right here is saying that this situation is long gone and it's over. It has no spiritual value. It has no physical, um, like really stability. It's a fragile and weak environment. That has fallen to the wayside. This chapter is over and it's done. And do not let this determine who you're going to be in the future. Don't hold on to this conditioning feeling like you have to fight for someone to be committed to you. That is not who you are. That is not who you are. If that's who you thought you were and that's what you got to do to make someone love you and to make someone yours, you need to forget that. Forget who you are, all right? Create something anew, okay? And you do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. You see? Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. This person, even when you leave them, is still going to be the next person fighting for a position. You do you. Be self-reliant entrepreneur and this is right next to you on the right path so listen you guys might be taking that entrepreneur path in your uh, career because this is clearly talking about your career focus on your career your new path the most important thing that's going to hit you as soon as you walk through that door is you're going to have an opportunity to fight for yourself instead of you lighting that flame here fighting Begging, borrowing, and pleading for time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like someone has really been out here trying to like beg and borrow time. Because you've been competing against so many different people. It's like four or five different energies that is like all mixed up in the situation. You making the fifth. You might be competing with this person's job, this people's friends, their family, the video game, and a side bitch. You are competing when you don't have to. You're on the right path. I'm glad that you woke up and you're, you're, you're realizing that, you know, this situation is starting to change me. And I'm not going to let it define me for who I am. I reject that shit in the name of Jesus. I reject it. I don't respect it. I'm going on my own on this entrepreneurship because I know I'm on the right path and I know I will be damn more successful on my own than trying to stay committed and fighting a losing battle in this bullshit. Okay? So let's see what they're saying in regards to this career. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Continue to move forward. You are on the right path. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. 
Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyal and by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Do you hear me? You are on the right path. So there's a lot of you guys that's feeling like not only are you not okay and i'm going to switch this over in regards to your career and your finance you are not about to compete for this position why why there's no commitment here you guys are not offering me a full-time permanent situation here i'm not going to keep competing for this job or for this it's it's there's no stability here there's no stability here you guys don't respect who I am, and I'm not about to change who I am in this situation. And I don't like your fucking conditionings, okay? I might have accepted it before, and I might have let it determine who I am and my freedoms and how I can move about. But guess what? God told me I need to turn that card around, okay? I need to turn that card around because I ain't, it ain't working out for me financially here. There's really no true stability here. So I'm about to completely do me. Because I cannot change people. And I cannot change situations. And make people value me. And look at me. And give me what I respect. What I respect. Pay me my worth. Me trying to change people's thought. And make them trying to pay me my worth. That shit never fucking works. So I guess what I'm about to do me on my fucking own. And all of my fucking talent. It's going to come directly back to me. All of that residual is going to come back to me. And I got to split it with no fucking body. Because I'm on the right path. Y'all bitches is needing me. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that motherfucking Mariah Carey, bitch? Did Mariah Carey got a new song, bitch? Mariah look good as shit. Come on, Mariah. Me and Mariah go back like babies are pacifiers. Oh, dirt dog, no liar. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> now, let's see what's going on tomorrow because y'all going to set it off tomorrow on the 19th, honey. Let me tell you something. It seems like you're going to kick a bitch nigga out and you about to fill yourself up with something healthy and nutritional because you're like, uh-uh, I've been eating that poison for all this. Uh-uh, no. I'm about to go vegan for a reason, bitch. I don't need no more beef in my life. Listen, y'all, like, I don't need the beef. I don't need the beef. That shit wasn't even USDA certified. No, I, uh -uh. no. You getting rid of a goddamn emperor in reverse. Because this person was supposed to aid, provide, protect, respect. You know? And hold shit down for you. And that's not what this person proved to you to be. This person proved out to be a lazy, uncommittal, disrespectful, disrespectful, controlling, immature, untrustworthy piece of shit. Can't take the trash out. You can't clean the yard. You don't know how to fix no cars. You don't know how to do shit. Even if you do not to do shit, you don't want to get up and do it. So at the end of the day, why am I wasting my time with you in my space and in my energy? What are you doing in my energy? It's time to purge. It is time for me to wash away the bullshit. And that's exactly what they're doing. And before they're doing it, that says, look closely, ask questions, and think before acting. So I really do feel like y'all about to go investigate and in searching. Because I feel like you guys feel this motherfucker, you used to be a good man. You used, and y'all might be dealing with an Aries. You used to be doing everything that I needed you to do and then some. Where the change happened, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Because I just want to make sure before I get rid of you, okay, I can do it with a clear conscience and I can accurately communicate why, what I've seen, what I feel, and what is real. So there won't be no questions, okay? It won't be no questioning. No, 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 no. Because I know... I'm tired of just feeling unhappy and feeling like I cannot win and I'm running around on this goddamn hamster wheel and it's going no fucking where. It's going no fucking where. I'm ready for the wheel of fortune to turn in my favor. 
I'm ready to taste some flavor like a lifesaver. I'm not able to taste the rainbow with you around in my space. Because you're not providing nothing and you're not being the emperor that I need you to be. So why am I going to continue to entertain this at all? It says shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. It says forgive this person and let that shit go. Okay? Don't hold on. Once you let this person go, whatever they're telling you, the shame of the situation, the regret and the guilt that you have, okay, for continuing to entertain this, just forgive yourself, forgive this situation, forgive that person, and let it go. Because I feel like at some point in time, the Divine Feminine is going to feel some type of shame and regret and things about holding on so long to the situation but just forgive yourself and let this shit go don't dwell on it because if you dwell on this stuff like that you're going to keep that wheel of fortune turning in the reverse instead of in the upright to bring you good fortune and good memories and happiness and everything that you truly deserve okay because you have to focus on what it is that you truly desire to buy feminine because you're cleaning your slate you are purging you are purging all right, so you have a clean slate, so you need to decide what you desire. You now have an opportunity to write a script according to your heart's truest desire. Once you clearly decide upon your truest desire and know that you're already and deserving of them, they will rush into your life almost as magic. So you decided to clear and purge this person out of your life. You have a clean slate, so decide exactly what it is you desire and what you want your life to look like. Write it down, draw a picture. Write it down, draw a picture, put it on your wall. Where's your manifestation list? Write down how you want this will of fortune to turn in your favor. Don't write anything negative. Only I am and thank you. Okay? And now that you have this clean slate, what God wants you to do is only fill yourself and your space and your energy up with nutritional things that are healthy for you no more toxic people no more toxic situation no more toxic food i want y'all to start eating healthy eating more salads having more balanced meals okay because if you healthy on the inside your world will be healthy on the outside it says you conduct healing work with your culinary skills so i do feel like in regards to this career change some of you might I feel like some of y'all might are really good cooks. And what you do personally, I feel like some of you guys are, I'm hearing lawyers. I feel like some of you guys work in like a law office or something. Maybe you're like a legal secretary or a paralegal or something like that. And I feel like everyone loves your fucking macaroni and cheese. Your macaroni and cheese, your potato salad, and your collard greens, your greens. And I really feel like you guys are good salad makers. Like, you come to work with these like specialty salads that you make personally yourself like every day i i even feel like you guys make your own vinaigrettes like and i'm like oh where you get that dress up i'm like i made it, it got like poppy seeds and all this like shit and yeah baby, like you made that shit but like yeah i made that shit and i really do think that you guys are going to start like a seven day nutritional meal plan type of thing where people can order your meal plan on your website and then like you guys do like deliveries or something like a delivery food service or something like that i don't know y'all gonna call it like angelic angelic nutrition i don't know y'all gonna call it something y'all gonna call it something i can see you guys doing a lot of um, why am I saying, I was going to say sip and serve. What, what the fuck is a sip and serve? Why, why does sip and serve come in my, it's like, it's like you're going to a sip and serve. It's like, um, I, I, I don't know why that's coming in my head. Sip and serve. It's like, you guys are going to be having like, you know how they do a, a paint and sip, but it's going to be a sip and serve. It's going to like, you're going to be charging people to come and taste your new menus like every time your menus change and things like that you guys are gonna have a sip and serve where people can pay like 
fifteen dollars and they and like you're gonna rent out a hotel room or something like that and you're gonna um i mean not a hotel room but like a conference room in a hotel and you're gonna have like all these different wines and like specialty cocktails and stuff like that for your event but you're gonna have like taste testings of all of these new different things to kind and, and you're gonna have people put in the in the thing like what people like what people don't like and you're going to do this like quarterly and your and your people that you invite or, or that is part of your meal plan that's what the fuck they look forward to every fucking month and they're going to come and vote on your meals to and, they, and they're like praying and hoping that enough people voted for the meal that they like because they want that to be on your monthly meal plan like that i don't know where this idea is coming from in my head but that shit is ingenious but bitch i don't know how to cook so whoever the fuck is about to take this idea that I just came up with, y'all make sure y'all give me my motherfucking 5%, my 5, 10%, okay, bitch? But, because I be giving, listen, every time I do a personal reading, I'm always giving y'all, like, I always, anytime I do a personal reading and I do a life purpose card reading, these cards right here, life purpose, I just did one for a young lady. She was all the way out in Indonesia. Only thing I'm just saying, we create magic. <laughs> we create magic, and that's why I say we always end up with a manifestation list. And these girls end up being entrepreneurs after I get the fuck off the phone. So I don't know who about to take that idea, take that idea and run with it. I want at least ten of y'all to take that idea and try to do something with it, okay? And when y'all do, y'all just make sure that I get free meal plan every motherfucking month, okay? Make sure you put some chicken and dumplings and some Asian goddamn dumplings on that, y'all. Please, please. Okay, anyway, let me, okay, let me shut up. Let me shut up. Let's get into this investigate so i want to say in regards to this career because y'all y'all are y'all are truly changing the career and y'all see today or monday y'all are thinking about leaving something and, and and where there's no commitment there's no stability and you're going on your own doing something on your own that you're really good at and it seems like um it may be fucking cooking but you need to investigate look closely at questions and think before you move okay not only in this regards to this emperor because you want to get your communication together, all right, before you just, because you want to make sure that this motherfucker clear about where y'all stand. And there ain't going to be no coming back. The fuck. Get the fuck. You're going to be investigating. You're going to be doing a whole bunch of shit. And you're most definitely going to forgive and let that shit go because that's the only way you're going to be able to focus on your business. And this business, this new business venture, this new business venture for y'all. And I'm not even necessarily thinking that a lot of y'all are going to leave y'all 9 to 5 job. But you're going to become an entrepreneur. You might be leaving your current job to focus on your job and maybe getting a part-time job. You know, but your, your business is going to be your main meat and potatoes into... It kicks off, kicks off. And I'm giving y'all like, I feel like your first year and a half is going to be very successful. But it's going to take some time. But after the first year and a half, y'all going to blow the fuck up. Now let's see what this investigate says. And number seven, number seven, number seven means contemplation, withdrawing, understanding, spiritual wisdom and analyzing and knowledge so that's exactly what's that what that means just in general so let's see this says no i'll look first too many people blindly follow others in many situations we find it easier to go with the flow to trust in others and to even follow orders but alice does not do this not until she has thought it out herself she may be um, adventurous and curious, but she's also sensible, cautious, and inquiring. Alice remembers the good common sense advice that she learned throughout hearing stories of others' mishaps. And right now, you must be like Alice. This card asks you to check something carefully before going ahead. You are being encouraged to take a daring parent new path of action while everything is most likely well you still need to take responsibility and remember 
to be your own guardian and your own caretaker. Look over details. Check the packaging. Be sure to know what is in the fine print and ask questions about the arrangements of the offer in which you're about to enter in or accept. If, like Alice, you find that there is nothing alarming or hitting about this arrangement, by all means, go ahead. However, do not follow orders or blindly do what you were told. Investigate and decide if you are to go ahead. Be prepared for unexpected changes when you sign, start, connect, and decide to advance. There is always an element of unpredictability. And there is no way of preparing for all the strange and wonderful things that will happen next. The true message, an important decision requires you to inquire, inform yourself, and think things th uh, thoroughly. Find out as much as you can and look at the fine print. So like I said, you guys, before you just jump into this new business venture, you guys are looking at the fine print. And I feel like you guys are really going to study that market, how to get this. Like, I, like you guys might even, like I said, just throwing a party, number one, just to have a, 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 a sip and serve. Just to, you know, sip some wine, have a good time, and serve your food to these people to see how people are responding to it. To get them motivated and excited about this menu and this new thing that you're doing. And I feel like you're going to get like almost 50 people signing up off the rip. Off the sip and serve, you're going to get like probably like 15 to 25 people sign up there. And then you're going to put videos on the internet of the sip and serve. And then people are going to sign up on your Facebook. It's just going to be phenomenal. It's going to be phenomenal. And I really don't think that you guys are truly prepared. I really don't think that you guys are truly prepared. But... You know, investigate, investigate. So let's do a one over one more time. So you guys are deciding to stop battling and competing and engaging in this fiery altercation with this emperor that is not doing his part in your life. You feel like this was a complete waste of time and of good energy, honestly. You're getting rid of this person because there's no commitment here. So it's like, you know, if there's no commitment here, there's no stability, I'm getting rid of it. Simple as that. I'm getting rid of it. Like, why? Why? You know, you are, you are, I want to say trapped up in the conditionings as to, you, you right now you are trapped up in the conditionings as to how things been and how things used to be. And right now you are being urged to forget who you are at this current state. Create a clean slate for yourself and do some investigation. Do some investigation on any new uh, commitments or endeavor that, that, that you're about to get yourself into. Now that you are turning this around and you're forgetting who you were in that space and creating something completely new. Because you are different. You are not like everyone else. You know. You are different. And you don't have to be confined. By anyone's bullshit ass conditionings. When you can. Be the captain of your own ship. And the master of your own destiny. You tell yourself who you are. Don't let no condition and no situation. Define who the fuck you are. Alright. There's a situation where there's an ending to a family structure. I feel like some of you guys may be moving. You guys may have possibly lost a job. And you feel like you might be going through a bout of misfortune right now. Okay? Some of you might be moving. There might have been a divorce. Some people might have lost a job. It might be going through you know, an unfortunate situation at this current time. The spirit is telling you to do you. Shame, regret, and guilt. That is just bullshit. You do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Forgive and let that shit go. 
Okay? You cannot change people. You cannot make people do what you want them to do. If they don't respect you, if they don't want to work with you no more, look, if they said, listen, the foundation that you thought was here is over, you know, I'm sorry to give you this unfortunate news, but you've been terminated or this relationship is over or whatever the fuck it is. That's a fucking blessing. It's a blessing because guess what? That wasn't who the fuck you was anyway. You didn't like the conditionings of the situation anyway. And you were already investigating a way to get the fuck up out of the situation anyway. So thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It wasn't nothing that was going to. No. No. Forgive that shit and let that shit go. Shame, regret, and guilt. That is bullshit. Don't hold your head in shame because this situation ain't around no more. Don't have any guilt behind the situation. Don't have no more regret. You do you and you let this shit go and move the fuck on. All right? All right? Because you are set. You are made to be an inch an entrepreneur. You are not made to be confined under other people. You got to think about what you desire. Do you desire to elevate higher or you want to be an employee? That situation is some of y'all, if y'all did lose a damn job, y'all about to lose a job and y'all about to roll right into uh, being an entrepreneur and you're going to be way more successful than you ever the fuck was working at nine to five. You're going to probably make the money that $50,000 a year that you normally make annually. You're going to be making like semi annually, semi annually. Being an entrepreneur working for yourself, you got to listen. Don't let that shit beat you, honey. You better spark that flame and get cracking. Do you understand me? Father God said you are on the right path. You are on the right path and you are feeding your soul something good, nutritional, healthy. Not only are you changing your environment on the inside of your body. You're cleaning yourself up. Your environment is pure. It's whole. It's healthy. You're, you're cleaning up and you're making things better on the outside of your environment. You're making a nutritious, healthy environment for you on the outside. Something that is feeding your soul. And this career path change is going to feed your soul. And it's going to give you more happiness than that commitment that you were fighting for. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you guys are going to free yourself from, you're going to free yourself from this commitment, from this emperor. And I want to say that this emperor, I want to say for some of y'all, this emperor might be a controlling ass supervisor. That could surely be a fucking supervisor. I feel like you've been being promised and promised and promised and promised and promised a raise or they're going to allow you to take another position, whether it be a higher level of commitment and responsibility. And this person was bullshitting on giving you that offer. And, and it was purged out of your life. But it's a blessing because it's getting you to your true life purpose. And you are going to literally feel free. Okay? So I want you guys to be happy. I keep trying to tell y'all, stop being scared of these tower moments. Because God moved shit out of your life that he know you wasn't strong enough to walk away from. This job that you kept having to commit, I mean, compete and fight for, is stupid ass boss. Okay? I feel like this is one of them bosses that they don't get pussy out in the real world. It ain't like the flex they got damn shit up in the, in the office and stuff like that because it makes them feel powerful. This was a bitch ass nigga. Okay? Fuck that nigga. All right? I guarantee you this month, I got, get, give it two years. Next thing you know, this person going to sign up for your goddamn food, your um your weekly food plan. And you're going to be like, hold on. Didn't you used to be my boss? Oh, I'm doing a $10 upcharge for you, fuck nigga. You have a better go find another food plan or I'm charging you a little bit more. You can go to Better Business Bureau if you want to. What they going to do? Who going to check me, boo? <laughs> Who going to check me? Pay, bitch, nigga. Anyway, this has been y'all reading. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope y'all enjoyed the new cards. Okay, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the new cards. If y'all have not watched y'all monthly, make sure you check out y'all monthly so y'all can get that bonus reading with the Alice in Wonderland cards and the Rebel deck. I love this motherfucking deck. Forgive and let that shit go. Fuck that nigga. I got y'all. Love y'all ladies. 
hit that like button okay hit that like share subscribe if you're new and if you need to book a personal go ahead and click that about tab scorpion reds tarot i simply book me as a link and if you want to send a love donation the paypal's in description peace